Hey guys, so today I'm gonna walk you through a quick Lightroom tutorial on how I would edit this image. So I really love this picture. I love her expression. I love that the horse is looking at me, but it's just not wow to me. I mean, this is just straight out of the camera. I haven't done anything to it yet. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna start out by bumping the exposure up a bit. I definitely wanna brighten this up. I'm gonna bring the contrast down a bit. And let's bring the highlights down a lot so that sky doesn't look quite so blown out. Let's lift the shadows. And I'm gonna bring the whites down as well. I think her pants are a little bit too bright and distracting, so I'm gonna bring them down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some black back in since we lifted those shadows so much. With the tone curve, I'm just gonna kind of play with it here. Um, just gonna make some subtle changes. I'm gonna lift the shadows a little bit more and just kind of play with it just a little bit. Nothing drastic. You don't want to do anything like that. That's going to really ruin your image if you if you make too many changes. So just be subtle with your changes. Just adjust a little bit at a time. So I don't think this picture is very warm. So I'm going to I'm going to make it quite a bit warmer and it might look a little bit too warm at first, but we're going to change some other things as we go. So just bear with me. Bring the tint down just a tiny bit. Might change this afterwards, but for now I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Let's move on. Let's go to adjust the colors. So I'm gonna do the orange. I'm gonna bump the saturation up quite a bit. I think I like it there. Let's bring the luminance down on the orange just a little bit so the highlights in her skin aren't quite so dramatic. So I really don't like yellows um, in my, I don't like them in my greens or anything. So I'm gonna bring the, the yellows down a lot. I'm gonna bring the saturation down pretty drastically. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring the luminance down a little bit as well. That'll kind of help with the sky too. And then the most important thing is the greens. So I really don't like the color of these greens here. I think they're too yellowy still. I want them to have more of a blue tint, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the hue up pretty dramatically. I do this for pretty much all of my photos. Bring that up a lot until I get a nicer color green that I think is more pleasant to look at. And then I'm gonna bring the saturation down a lot. So now the greens aren't quite so distracting. I think I can focus more on her and the horse instead of the, all the green in the background. And just play with it. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the luminance up so they're just a little bit lighter. Next thing I'm gonna do is just bump the clarity up a little bit. And I personally like to decrease. I don't, if you don't like the way light and airy looks, then you're gonna wanna bump up the dehaze, but I personally like the way light and airy looks and I kind of want it to almost have that cloudy look to it. Um, so I'm gonna bring it down a good bit. I'm just gonna make it just a little bit warmer. Make it just a touch darker. I might have bumped the exposure up just a little too much. So I always go back and kind of play with everything afterwards. Nothing's ever set in stone. Um, just move things around, play with things. If there's something you don't love about it, change it. That's the beauty of Lightroom. There's infinite possibilities. So let's go ahead and see the before and after of this one. <laughs> 